Constant development requires countries to maintain a stable vision and a special orientation towards innovation to achieve the necessary solutions for the contemporary world. For Costa Rica, its historical bet on education, productive diversification, and drive to grow on the international market creates an innovation climate where science and technology fuel the national development vision. That's the frame where the Costa Rican sector of biotechnology and life sciences excels as a powerful solutions generator capable of facing an infinite number of challenges in the most diverse areas. We're developing a process uh, specifically to try to collect and see what to do with the many leaves that come from the plants of the pineapple. And uh, right now it's become an environmental challenge uh, and it's very important to see how we can find a solution and a process. That's been a recent challenge that we've been able to uh, face and work with. We are managing a R&D project for a biostimulant and we're doing all the genetic characterization of the product. So it's innovative because we're taking chicken manure, which, which is a very big environmental concern in the country, and turning it into a valuable product that can be used for the stimulation of soils and the nutrition of plants. That potential pushes the sector to solve a fundamental challenge. What's required to take Costa Rica's biotechnology and life sciences to the next level? A cluster is a group of companies that collaborate and compete in order to work in a sector that they are trying to develop. In our case, our cluster is working together with the government and the academia because we all have a common denominator that we want Costa Rica to be more competitive internationally in the life science developments. This is Latin America's first and only organizational model looking for an effective sectorial integration to achieve scientific and business alliances, inter-institutional collaboration and joint efforts in sector strengthening public policy creation. It is thriving to take all its actors to the next level of competitiveness, internationalization and innovation. The important part of a cluster is the synergy between businesses, public sector, private sector and academy. That synergy causes innovation, causes economic growth, causes employment. BitLab is supporting clusters since a well-developed cluster spurs productivity among its members, innovation in the sector and the creation of new businesses linked to the cluster. So we have experienced many benefits by being part of CR Biomed. One of the key benefits is uh, networking. So we have networked with uh, companies, academic institutions, and with research centers. Another important thing is uh, the funding, the funding that is allowed, and Procomer and BID have done a very good job and have helped us tremendously in being able to develop different types of funds uh, for different purposes. Life sciences industry is a global value change where Costa Rica is playing. This sector is growing at high rates and its growth is driven by technological advancements. We have the human talent to be able to capitalize this sector in Costa Rica. Costa Rica has been exporting and diversifying in almost 200 years now and we went from coffee to high tech. Costa Rica has a great potential for biotechnology and life sciences. We have one of the most dense biodiversities on the planet, so we also have the laws that facilitate the sustainable use of biodiversity for developing biomolecules, for creating value-added products and processes. The CR Biomed Cluster is the demonstration of how a sector with proven potential for the country's development can integrate academy and government from a private initiative to achieve social, economic and scientific value creation based on a vision of sustainable development, social respect and a global impact. <laughs>